All right, so let's kick this off. I've got the targets all set up downrange, and I've got the camera set up down there in front of the targets. Now, hopefully I don't end up putting a bullet through the camera. Well, we'll follow along with that. But hey, here's what we're gonna do. I've got three targets downrange that each have three bullseyes on them. Each of the rifles, I'm gonna shoot three five-shot groups at 50 yards and see how this CCI standard velocity ammunition does before moving on out to the 100-yard line. So I'm gonna kick this off shooting the Ruger uh, Precision first, and well, let's get shooting. Group one with the Ruger Precision. Let's move on to group two. Got the barrel warmed up a little bit. Let's see if things tighten up a bit for the Ruger. All right, group two, let me load up a few more here. Let's get on to the final group with the Ruger Precision. Last shot with the Ruger Precision. And it wasn't a good one. All right, so with the shooting, with the Ruger out of the way, we're gonna move on to the Christensen Ranger 22. So again, we're gonna send three five-shot groups down to the 50-yard line, so let's get at it. Ah, group two now. Nice group. All right, last group with the Christensen Ranger 22. Last shot with the Ranger. Ah, bit of a stinker again. All right, let's check down targets out in a bit, but hey, hold up. We gotta get the CZ out. 
All right, we're down to the last rifle, the CZ-457. So now I've only got one of these mags with me today. I'm going to have to reload this thing a couple times to get the three five-shot groups down there. But enough for the talking, let's do some shooting. Now that first group was a little squirrely. I took a cut on the camera here because I had something happening with the rifle not wanting to actually chamber one of the rounds. So that first group, I'm going to kind of nix that one off. Let's send the next two groups down. Again, the rifle is having trouble cocking the firing pin here. Uh, there we go. Group two. CZ so far not caring for this ammunition let's see if we can redeem ourselves with this last group here Now, in all fairness to the CZ, I've got three bullets laying here. I'm going to shoot one more little group and just see how this rifle does. That first group kind of had me buggered up, and we'll talk a bit about that more in a second here. I'm going to aim two squares down from the bullseye of the third group. Well, let's get a couple more bullets and actually make that a five-shot group. Now, these are all coming out of the same main box here, so it should be the same lot. Yeah, we can get her in the hole here. Last two shots from the CZ on our little bonus group. Maybe I should have quit laws ahead. So let's go get those targets. All right, guys, I've got the 50 yard line shooting groups out of the way. I now have the target set up down at 100 yards. I don't have the camera setting in front of the targets this time. I ran out of battery of life, but that's nonetheless. We'll get some footage of the targets after I get done shooting. I'm gonna start off with the Ruger, work my way through the Christensen Arms Ranger and the CZ just as before at the 100 yard line. Now I'm going to shoot one five-shot group with each rifle.
the shooting's done. All right, so let's see how we did. Is this the walk of shame? Or is this gonna be something impressive? Let's go get these targets and measure up these groups. All right, guys, I've got the shooting all done. I've got the targets in my hand. I'm gonna take this stuff back, measure up these groups, and see how each of the rifles did at the 50 yard versus the 100 yard with that CCI standard velocity. I'm gonna talk a bit about what happened today at the range, how I had the rifle set up, and all that stuff too, but enough talking, let's get this stuff going. All right, guys, I'm back from the range. We're going to get ready to go through these targets and see how each of these rifles shot. But first, I'm going to spend just a couple minutes kind of going through the rifles, the setups, how I had things going, and what was going on out at the range. First thing I'm going to talk about is a bit of a hiccup that I ran into with the CZ457. So with my CZ457, when I was shooting the 50-yard uh, group sets, I had an issue with the rifle, as you've seen in the video, and I did take a couple takes and some cuts and I cut that out of the video. It was getting long. Hey, this is getting long. What was happening is as I would go to cycle this rifle, and that is empty here, but it would not actually cock and the firing pin indicator in the back of the CZ457 is a little red tail end of the firing pin hangs out the back. That was not showing out the back. I wasn't getting an actual cock of the rifle, sounds odd, when I would cycle it. And I attribute to that is as I was pushing the bolt closed, I was putting a little bit of pressure, some tension on that. And when I would cycle the bolt closed, it would not allow that mechanism to actually cock in there. Uh, as I realized a little bit, as I went a little bit lighter with the cycling of the rifle, I was getting an actual accurate, you know, proper mechanism going on with the bolt action here and getting those shots. So that is the situation that was happening with the CZ457. As far as the optics and what I had going on with these rifles, all the rifles are running the SH4 Gen 2s. Now the Christensen Arms and the CZ have the J model. All the optics were set at a power of 20 magnification for both the 50 yard shots and the 100 yard shots. Now these rifles were zeroed in at 50 yards. So at the 100 yard shot, I dialed in two mils of increase on my elevation. I'm running mil optics, not MOA. So I raised everything up about six inches, give or take, we'll just keep the math out there. Raise everything up, two mils, six inches to get everything close to where we needed to be on target. So that in a nutshell is the setup that I was running with the rifles for you guys. Now the intent here was to have a GoPro running downrange while I was doing the shooting, to have that dual purpose, that more entertaining shot of me shooting the rifle as well as you guys being able to see the impacts downrange. Well, I ran into some battery troubles and some things of that nature, as well as the range started getting busy and I had some people coming up and talking to me about the setups and I got to run in my mouth about my arc and optics and everything else caused one of my batteries to die and a bunch of things to happen and this took a little bit longer than I expected as more people kept showing up to the range. So you can tell it sounds like a war zone in the background, people were shooting. And during the shooting sequences, I have sped this up to two times quicker. So those shots in the back that are sounding like a full auto, well, they were quick shots, but not that quick. So that's a little bit of a situation we had going on with everybody at the range. It was warm weather here in Michigan in December, but I know what you guys are waiting for. Let's take a look at these targets. Alrighty, so here we go. These two targets are for the Ruger Precision. So here are the three groups at 50 yards. So I figured all these out and I do use some software to figure this out. I'm not using a caliper the old school way. And I used one of the apps that are real common and uh, kind of makes it kind of fun doing this stuff. But anyways, our first group we had a 1.6, 1.2, and a 2.2 and I averaged these out to a 1.731 MOA at 50 yards for the Ruger. 100 yard we ended up with a 2.426 MOA out of the Ruger. Now this probably would have been a nice group had it not been for that one right there. Let's move on over to the Christensen Arms Ranger. Here we go 1.032 0.618 now that was a pretty good group 1.441 to an average of 1.030 at 50 yards. Now our 100 yard with the Christensen arms here, let me just move this over a bit here. 2.121 MOA. Again, we had a buzzer right there. Overall, not so bad, not so good either. 
and moving on to the CZ. So the CZ, our 50-yard groups, we had 2.323, 2.198, 1 1.074, and at 100 yards, 1 1.894. All right, so crunching these numbers and looking at them, CCI standard velocity out of these three rifles. Let me backtrack a bit. I've shot SK ammunition, Lapua, Ely, and some others, the RWS, out of all the three of these rifles and have got significantly better, way, 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 way tighter groups if you follow some of my old content. So I'm gonna kind of go out there and say the CCI standard ammunition is really not liked by any of these rifles, these groups at both 50 yards and 100 yards were in no way impressive. However, I was shooting the same ammunition on the same day out of all three rifles. Now the 50 yard groups, uh, the Christensen Arms, that uh, Ranger rifle was the tightest groups on this day with the CCI ammunition. At 100 yards, the tightest group came from the rifle that had the worst group at 50 yards. It, the CZ-457, and the Ruger sat there right in the middle. So, hey, it is what it is. It still was a fun day out at the range shooting. This ammunition, the CCI Standard Velocity, is quite affordable right now. These are seven or eight cents a round, so you can get this stuff. It's readily available, and you can get out there and do some planking and do some shooting. I hope to make some more content, get these rifles out there with the ammunition that I openly know they like to eat and show you guys some much better groups. But until next time, I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope you got some comment, you got some feedback of what ammunition maybe your CZ-457 or your Ruger Precision or even your Christensen uh, Ranger rifle liked the most. So until next time, you know what I say, keep on shooting.